Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Tayutu. I like my coffee, like black in the morning. Mm. I'm holding Bitcoins, I believe in Bitcoins, even my car believes in Bitcoins, and yes, do you see that there? There? B, B. Be your own bank. Yes, guys, uh, a short TA video today because uh, some really cool stuff is happening to Bitcoin. I'm going to update you on what I believe that is happening. And then, of course, also show you two really cool charts from other people I found that you really need to see. It's beautiful to see uh, what is happening to Bitcoin if you look at those two charts. Guys, I can't make it more exciting, can I? Nah, this is a little boring this start. Nah, doesn't matter. The music was good, wasn't it? Yeah, let me know. Give the thumbs up for the music. Let's jump into the charts, guys. Bam! My feet don't work no more. Oh, no. It ain't easy, darling. When the devil's on my trail. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is the first chart that we don't want to talk about. We want to talk about this. We got to start with the four hour chart. And the four hour chart, after that, guys, we are going to zoom slowly out. So, yes, like you use, we start small, we go big. Um, this was that four hour chart we broke to the downside I told at that point guys maybe it's the purple line we are going to break out of this triangle which would take us to that level it took us to that level but then we had this v-shaped bounce really high this is like from here 31 to 37 that's a 6k bounce that's 20 percent that's huge now we need to find out if we find support in this area over there let's see if we took take a look at the ema ribbon what happened um, exactly because the ema ribbon is maybe going to show us yes exactly what i expected you look we broke down we broke down you try to break to the upside we broke down and now we broke all the way through the ribbon which means in my opinion that we could be retesting this line over there 35,950 and from there again go up but we could also just you know continue this rocket to the moon you know this is a huge uh, huge um, volume that came in so let's see what is happening if i look to the bam bam indicator we are at the level of 50 with the midline i can see the bam curling down again the moment we call down on the green line i think we will see a short flag again and when we cross the white line i'm i'm very sure we need to go short also the green hills are going flat over there and when they go flat we can go down a little bit not that we need to sell or panic but let's see if we can show the flags what happened with the flags let's see if the flags were right uh, the internet is not that fast so it's taking a little bit time to load guys uh, taking too long i think i need to go to the next chart we will come back and maybe can check the the um ah, there the other flags oh the flags the long flag was down there so how do you trade the four hour with the bam bam indicator very simple you see we are crossing that white line that's an indication you see the long flag that's a second confirmation we see a candle closing above that yellow stepping line third confirmation we also see the yellow stepping line slowly turning from flat to steep up so we have three confirmations then we have a green dot four confirmation the green hill starting five confirmations and you can't see it really well at the moment but there is also this green line on top here six confirmations so that's a lot of confirmations to take this long so if you would have taken that long at that moment let's take a disc and a little bit later because you wake up at eight in the morning you take it there and you could be taking profit on the top but that's always difficult and um, the moment we see a short flag is always a, a beautiful moment to um, short and or to exit the market but you can also exit now that would be 8.66 percent with a leverage of 10 80 percent guys that's a huge trade and people would say yeah but why get out now maybe we go high yes but there is always going to be another trade. This is not the last trade of your life. You can take this 8% profit and take another trade with some more profit. Maybe there will be a beautiful short like here. You will take that profit. There will always be another trade, another bus, another rocket to the moon. 
don't freak out just zoom out and understand the trading is not about making that one big hit just making a lot of small hits and then accumulate and compound your profits let's jump into the next chart bam uh, this chart is the also the four hour chart the clean trader so we can skip this one this is already what we talked about the, oh no by the way this is ethereum so this is the ethereum chart ethereum chart also looking very nice um we just had the long flag uh, ethereum isn't also in an uptrend I, I think ethereum is going to go need to break above this level over here i think that level over there this one there that is the level we need to break um, it, it won't be easy but it's a 2800 level if we break that then we can go across and find support again and then build again the trend to the 4k let's jump into bam this one we are zooming out this is the one day <sighs> breathe and take some coffee Lee. this is the one day uh, chart every candle is in the huge area of support over here and um, i drew at the 20 may i said oh maybe we will go up to the line come down a little bit and go up again that yellow line was drawn that day and um, we are doing that now we need to break this level 38k same like ethereum we need to break the resistance because if we don't break the resistance we can fall back again to the 30k level which would be then you know going sideways for some time um, the thing that you can see on this chart are two things here this one the hash ribbon normally we get a buy buy signal when the hash ribbon ends and that is like if we look back into history we always see these buy uh, signals in the hash ribbon and um, we didn't see that my internet is too slow to load the whole history so i will search another place tomorrow we didn't see that blue dot maybe the blue dot will come now after this one the new build sorry the new building the only thing that worries me is um we have never seen the the, the the hash ribbon like play out like this during a bull run but the only thing that worries me is this arrow here because like i said a few weeks ago it seems that bitcoin always dips around the 25th 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 always that dip around the 25th if we would dip again around the 25th that would mean that we first need to go up and dip or we dip from this level so that could mean uh, we go up like from here we break that resistance go up you know and then again dip because then again it will be the 25th and then it would be a lower low lower 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 uh, that would bring us to our oh, that 29,000 us dollar level let's see the 25th has been a dip till now so i'm going to keep an eye on that one as well bam jump into this one this one i talked about yesterday this is the gaussian channel i told you yesterday this candle must not close its body inside that channel that would be the most bullish bullish outcome yesterday if you look back to the video of yesterday the body was inside that candle now because of the huge pump we are above that channel again so you're finding support on the gaussian channel which is really bullish and if we keep that support this is the 5th june so that candle is going to close today and going to open a new one as well so that's uh, then the candle you see 31st of may 5th of june 10th of june so that's that's how it works 26 31st of may 5th of june 10th of june and this candle if it opens above this channel and goes up again that is a very positive move because then again we found support like here on that channel can you see every time when you find support you go up from that moment so i think if you look back at 2017 as well over here if it's able to load look every time we came close to the channel and we didn't break the channel we went up we came close we didn't break it we went up we came close we didn't break it we went up and that is in my opinion a very important moment that we find support at that level next chart bam oh my god did you how many charts yes now we are zooming out this is the weekly charts midline top line top line midline bottom line very important lines we are finding support around this line over there now if you ask me this is exactly what, what happened in 2013 as well 2017 we didn't see that formation like that we didn't break that midline first and then come down to this line to go sideways for some time yeah kind of did but not like as beautiful as you can see here the move in 2013 um, looks 
more similar to me if i can load it oh my god that is there look we were, we went up we went up above the midline we went down to the yellow line sideways 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 bam that peak so this is also looking like it we went up down and a little bit sharper but now look this is almost almost i must, I must say the same um, move that you can see it's almost like we are going beautifully up we are coming down to that line we're going sideways on the second line and then probably go up again something like that maybe not march maybe it will be december like we always top and december too many yellow lines i'm going to delete them i hope you understand what i'm saying so for me it looks uh, kind of similar what we have done in the past bull runs and that is exactly what we uh, are seeing at the moment we are finding support on that line over there here and that's a beautiful line to find support and then again go a little bit up break that line again and then find the top let's jump into the two last charts these ones bam this is the first one i think i need to move my face a little bit yes i will move my face um, to this place because it's a very cool chart i think this chart i've been showing many variations of it but check it um can i write yes i can draw on the chart perfect if you look at this moment over there <clears throat> that is the moment in 2017 that we touched that blue uh, that sorry that green line the bottom green line and that is the moment when we touched that one and we found support the huge bull run bam went up do you see this from that moment bam we went up this was exactly 373 days after the halving so we could buy bitcoin with a 65 percent discount 373 days after the halving before going in that insane run now if you look at this moment over there again 392 days after the halving again we can buy bitcoin with a 54 percent 55 percent discount so if we compare this moment to that moment that was the ultimate moment before the huge bull run to buy the bitcoin dip and that is i think that we can see now yes we are fear we are freaking out uh, the, the 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 fear and greed level is almost almost to like jumping off the chart to so much fear that people want to wear a face mask for the bitcoin charts <laughs> if that is even possible maybe they think bitcoin won't dip then because people nowadays believe everything um but in my opinion when we touch that green line or we come near that green line bitcoin will continue its rate bam up to there uh, and and then that's in my opinion not 2022 in my opinion it will be closer it will be the beginning like over there and then we come down and then we build up and again bam like something like that so for me ultimate moment to buy the dip bam one more chart this is the last chart i promise i'll be talking too much this morning too much um let's see this chart i make my face a little bit smaller is also a very cool chart and why this is the bitcoin Meyer multiple and we, we can see in the Meyer multiple that in 2013 14 over here we had a double peak double peak 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 in 2017 we had like a small double peak over there and then the huge peak so this is the difference now here we are forming a small double peak and then a huge dip and here we are seeing that we are going up 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 with the lower high, uh, higher low sorry so for me we need to make this huge run now from here to the big dip like this and if we compare this now to this moment over there double dip pull back bam double dip pull back bam so for me i can see that we are doing almost the same move that we did in 2017 but also sometimes i've compared to 2013 but both of the times we went up after these huge dips and this huge dip over there those two they look to me like this dip over there and this dip over there so let's see if that is going to happen guys um that was i think 
bam everything for today and uh, yeah that was everything for today i hope you really enjoyed this 48 video and uh, if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment do you like the bitcoin car with be your own bank and uh, some beautiful sponsors machina trader prime xbt blockchain valley house of dow yes they are all part of this huge bitcoin family that we are creating uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it see you later today or tomorrow again in the next ta video in the early morning from alicante in spain was that everything that was everything bam <music>